Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to double clutch or do the mid drive speed boost in GTA 5 online. So right here I'm going to give you a quick few examples, go over how to do it and give you some more tips along the way. So if you don't know what the mid drive speed boost is, that's it right there. You see how I got a little burst of acceleration after? Um, I'll give you a little showcase of what it looks like again. Take a look, pay attention at my back wheels and listen out for the car. See that? Okay, so you get basically a small acceleration boost while already driving as your car pulls a burnout. But how to do it, you may ask? Well, first of all, you need a rear wheel drive car. Any of these will do. Uh, any decently powered rear wheel drive car. Banshee 900R is probably the best. And all cars will have a slightly different way of, them, of it happening. If you hear it, uh, the main thing to look out for is listen to the revs. And if they sort of sound like they're maxing out, like it's redlining. It makes it sound kind of like that, or in the case of the Banshee, I, just, uh, I won't be able to drive the Banshee, uh, I don't think. It's probably locked. Yeah, okay. But it'll, it'll redline. So, to do it, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have your car at the ready. You want to launch however you're going to do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a handbrake launch. So I'm going to hold down the handbrake and then hold R2. But the way that you want to go ahead and double clutch is just before, just after, sorry, you hit second gear. You're gonna let off of the gas, you're gonna tap the handbrake for half a second and then you're going to hit the gas again. So we're gonna do it right here. Hit second. And there we go, we just double clutch. And you see that massive lead I've just pulled on my friend over there in the Hellcat? Thanks to that. It's insane for drag racing. So I'll give you a bit of a better explanation, um, a bit more in depth. So. It is different for different vehicles, uh, you can't do it in all-wheel drive cars all that well and not in front-wheel drive cars. Um, but as I said, you're going to hold down your gas, you're just going to launch however you launch. What you're going to do is you're just going to go and uh, drive along and you're going to listen out for the gear shifting. So after it shifts, so it'll be in first gear when you start and you're already driving, like you know, you're idle like this. You'll hear it shift up once, once you hear that shift up, let off your uh, R2 tap your r1 for half a second and back onto the r2 again so i'll try and do it as i do it I'll explain as i do it i don't have a uh, camera sorry for my uh, for my uh, controller so wait until we hit first second let off the gas handbrake gas again sometimes you'll get a burnout sometimes it'll just redline and sometimes it won't make any sound but you'll definitely be able to tell that there's a speed boost occurring so I'll kind of just show you what it looks like with and without. So I'm just going to launch normally. No, no, this is going to be no mid drive, no double clutch. So you see there, you know, quite gradual pick up on speed. But essentially, double clutching just makes this happen a whole lot faster. So I'm going to launch, change gear, hit the double clutch, and you, we just shoot forward. It's sort of the similar effect you get with uh, doing the speed glitch where um, you basically um, have your wheels do a burnout constantly, but it doesn't last forever. It's only a small effect. So some good cars to test this out in are the De Classy Vamos, the Turismo Classic, Infernus Classic, uh, the Hellcat or, or the uh, Hellfire as it's called in this game, and the Banshee 900R. All of these are great examples of cars that can do this very well. Same with the Schwarzer. Just to show you in another vehicle, same exact method as before but in a ZR380. Once again, gives you that awesome speed boost right there. Pair this up with a bit of nitrous if you're, you, your friends are alright with that. You're going to be king of the drag strip in no time. This thing is insane. Try this out in all sorts of different vehicles and you're guaranteed to be winning most of your races, alright? This is an awesome thing, you should definitely try it out. And if you did find this tutorial helpful, you would like more like it, please do support me by dropping a like on the video and subscribing down below. Leave a comment down below, what is the best car in your opinion to do this with? All of my social links are down in the description, join my Discord server and some of my other videos will be in the top right and in the description. Thank you all for watching, I hope this was helpful and uh, I hope you all have a great evening. Thank <laughs> you.